Hello and welcome to the first episode of Ask a Minecraft Plugin Developer. I am Tux2 on basically any of the Minecraft forums, Bucket Dev, or anything that you come across of related to Minecraft. Um, I am a plugin developer. I have quite a few Bucket plugins and also a few Canary Mod plugins if you're interested in those as well. Um, I am involved in some of the very popular plugins like Disguisecraft, the Engine Minecraft plugin, and MultiInv. So, let's get started. I've compiled a, an FAQ here of, the, of five of the most frequently asked questions I get asked in PMs and on the forums and stuff. First off, it's, how easy is it to learn Java? Well, it really depends. Some people pick it up fairly quickly. Other people take years to pick it up and learn it. It really depends on how you look at things and how your brain is structured. I have taught some people in as little as a month. Other people I've been teaching for years and they still haven't gotten it. So it really depends on your skill level. Um, as far as Java being a first language, it may not work as a first language just because of the way it's structured. Can you help me learn how to make a plugin? Um, this one's a little tricky. I do have a sample plugin on my GitHub with one little error that you can, you guys could fix if you want to take a look at it. I also have a bucket plugin generator that I will post a link to as well. As far as actually learning how to make a plugin, a lot of people who want to learn how to make a plugin basically have to learn Java first. So I would basically ask you guys to take a look at some Java tutorials before taking a look at making a bucket plugin. Do you ever get donations? Short answer, yes. Long answer, not very often. I have gotten a grand total of maybe four or five donations in my year and a half on bucket dev. The highest donation I ever received was ten dollars and the lowest donation was five dollars. Most of them have been on various projects. I can't really say any one project brings in any more money than the rest. Although one particular donation surprised me, it was on Dead Man's Chest. Okay. Can you help me with my permissions file? Oh, <laughs> this one gets asked so many times. I see so many problems cropping up with people's permissions files that I look at every single day. Basically what I need what I could say is if you're having problems with one of my plugins with permissions and stuff and it's not outlined and you can't figure it out with their permissions files and FAQs and wikis provided with your permissions plugin, you are free to send me the permissions file as it relates to my plugin. I'm not going to be debugging everyone's permission files though just because of the sheer amount of volume I'd be getting in. <laughs> do you take requests? Plugin requests? Yes, I do. Now, if you're paying me to make it, I am a lot more likely to say yes, I'll take it up and I'll work on it. But one of the things I always ask when you're asking for a specific plugin is, has this been done before? And can you use what's already out there to get done what you need to get done. One thing I don't like doing is duplicating other people's work just because someone wants one little feature tweaked. I'd rather take that plugin that someone else has created and then get paid to tweak it than create an entirely new plugin. Um, but yes, I do take requests. If you want me to do it for free, don't be surprised if it takes me several months to get it done. I am in high demand. I do have a lot of requests. So, yeah, just because you think it's the next big thing and you want this plugin to get it done, just realize that I get a lot of plugin requests and a lot of them are extremely similar. Okay, also let's go on to the next part of here is plugin of the week. Basically, I'm going to start off with a very good plugin that I've been using for quite a while now. It was actually recommended to me by another server owner. It's called Grief Prevention. What it is, is it's a plugin that allows your server users to automatically claim their land and be able to protect it from griefers. It's extremely easy to use. It automatically protects 
a user's claim when they've placed their first chest. Any additional claims you can actually create by using a gold shovel. Um, I will be posting the project link page in the description below. I have been using it. I highly recommend it as everyone just knows how to use it. And if they don't, it's extremely easy for them to learn. And everyone seems to know how to do it on my server. I had residents installed for about three months before I switched to this plugin. And I'd have to say that I had maybe like one or two residence protections. And the only reason why they were protected is because they asked me to do the protection for them because they couldn't figure it out. So I'd have to say almost every single user on my server is protected with grief prevention and it comes to almost no cost for the server administration. It's also very unbeatable. I have never had a griefer grief a grief prevention claim. Alright. So if you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button for more. Also check out my plugin dev page for all of the other plugins that I have created. Thank you for watching the first episode of Ask a Minecraft Plugin Developer. Also, if you have a question that you would like answered in a future episode, just leave it in the comments below or PM me on Bucket Dev or any of the other forums with your question. And you might see it in the next episode of Ask a Minecraft Plugin Developer.